is finally out for summer. And if you're looking for a way to spend the day, how about an old time amusement park? Right now we're heading to the center of the state to a park that's a blast from the past and easy on your wallet as well. Knoble's Amusement Park. It's just so fun and exciting. It's fun and excitement. <coughs> it's wooden roller coasters. And magnificent hand-carved carousels. It's vintage mechanical contraptions. I like the whipper because it spins you around. And a bunch of rides they don't even make anymore. It's just a nice family park. It's a lot of reasons you come to an old time amusement park. to be than a great amusement park. And here at Knobles, they have developed this amazing charm that comes only with carefully crafted aging. Knobles has a long history of entertaining visitors since the turn of the century. Knobles was started by Henry Knoble. We had people coming here uh, to swim in Henry's swimming hole and to picnic, and they were mostly folks coming out of the coal regions. So the first things were the pool, the restaurant, and the carousel. Right. From there, it was a long evolution. But the park has never outgrown its humble roots. Even in 2010, the Knoble family still owns and operates the property, and the trusty hand-carved carousel still stands as the park's crowning jewel. We run real organs there. We have three organs that operate there, and we rotate among them. But the big thing is you can catch the brass ring. There are, to the best of my knowledge, only three carousels in the country you can do that. You know, we have people, instead of clamoring over the up and down horses, they all want the outside horses so they can catch rings. Another big draw is the park's infamous wooden roller coaster, the Phoenix. And the Phoenix, of course, has a lot of character because it, it was built in 1947 in San Antonio, and it turns 25 years old here at Canopus this year. Aside from age, what do wooden roller coasters have over their speedy steel rivals? According to riders, character, and a whole lot of airtime. The wooden coasters, you have that clack, 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 clack. We are flying at our seats. Clack, clack, clack. It doesn't seem bad, but when you go um, down, you nearly fall out of your seat. <laughs> it's just so scary, but when you're done, you're like so relieved that it's done. <laughs> one more time, one more time. Every ride is different. The weather has an impact. Um, time of day has an impact, all kinds of things. So they give a unique ride every time. And if coasters really aren't your thing, or you just got done eating dinner, you could still take in a magnificent view of the park from the comfort of your very own gondola. They seem to have rides for all different ages, and it's a really good time. They have good rides, because they have rides for like younger children and older kids. But people don't come to Knobles just for the rides. There's beautifully shaded hangouts, an old-fashioned midway, and plenty of home-cooked food. The food at Knobles is, I think, more varied than most parks. We have a wide range of things. Nestled on 200 acres in Elysburg, Knobles isn't the largest park in the States, but Joe says it's what they don't have that sets it apart from the rest. But here's what's unique about Knobles. Free admission, free parking, uh, free entertainment, free use of picnic facilities. That's right, it's free. Knobles is the country's largest free admission amusement park, so you're welcome to pack a picnic and cook out, camp and park at no charge. And if you'd like to enjoy some of the rides, visitors can purchase an all-day pass or books of tickets. Thank you. The pay-as-you-ride policy is a great way to customize your trip because you buy these tickets and can use them on the rides you really want to try and not feel pressured to do the whole park in one day. We just buy a limited amount of tickets and ride what we want to ride and they get the all-day pass and they can do whatever they want and we can sit and watch them ride the Phoenix. <laughs> we love the free admission because some of us don't ride. Um, my children get the pass and there is there's a convenience that we bring, or well, we actually do hot dogs and hamburgers and bring some of our own food, but even when, and we buy food here because the prices are very reasonable. There's no doubt that for everyone, Knobles is a trip down memory lane. 
While most old-fashioned amusement parks have been replaced by their super modern counterparts, many enjoy this step back in time just the way it is. There are a lot of attractions, there's good food, a lot of excitement, and uh, it's just a, a nice place to, to come and relax. The shade and the trees and the food, and it's just a nice atmosphere, it's close. This is our first time here and we definitely would come back. Well that just about does it for this week's show. Hopefully you and your family have picked up some ideas for your next one day or weekend getaway. For more information on any of the places we've explored today, you can check out onedaygetaways.com for prices, links, and insider travel tips. Get my hair out of my mouth first. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back to One Day Getaways. <laughs> you can reach out.